Bye guys. Today I was just going to do something different because it is date night. So I wanted to do something different. I'm used to having my hair all flat. So today I was going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm not used to doing this at all. I'm not used to doing this with straight hair. So bear with me. Basically all you're going to need is heat protectant and your straightener and my Conair video. I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to burn myself so there you go. Uh, a hairband and some clips. <laughs> Just like these. But basically these are thank you, mommy. My mom gave me these a couple weeks ago and I forgot about them, but now I find the perfect time to use them, so let's get started. I already combed my hair. I, You guys know I use um, Aveda. I'll put the link down below for Aveda's brushes and everything, but let's get started. What I like to do is um, do the top layer first. work our heat magic alright so that's in there and now I'm going to bring this to the side I apologize if you don't see this right away but yeah make sure your oh this turned off and it goes up to 446 degrees, I don't know if you can see that. 446, yeah, so it gets pretty hot. So, what I've learned is that you twist and go down and twist again. Wait about 10 12 seconds and then you twist. And there you go. It's like a nice little wave. I don't know if you can see it perfectly, but yeah, so it's easy. That's pie. Oop, let me do it. There we go. Oh, I just burned myself. <laughs> like I said, you gotta be careful. You don't want to burn this out so bad. It was working down, so that one didn't come out as well. Hold on one second. There you go, I see wave. Sorry, there's a little smoke there. So. This is why these come in handy. I love these. Just separate. So, hold on one second, it's getting dark in here. Basically, you already know what I had told you. Use a lot of heat protectant in the areas you're going to go into. Because basically, you don't want fried hair like a broomstick. So. Alright, so again, you go. Oh, also, another thing. Use when you're doing this, just to fine tooth like whatever these are called. I'll Google it, but and I'll put it down below or anything. But basically, a fine tooth comb. That's what it is. But what you do?
there you go, you can actually see it now, so I'm really happy you can see it. Do this in layers, because basically you don't want to actually, like, possibly, um, if you have thicker hair than with, like me, you just want to do this in layers, so it won't be that time consuming if you have thin hair, but if you have thick hair, it's going to be time consuming. There you go. So I think this is very cute for a little thing, a little party. Get that locked in place. And now. <laughs> also come out the knots because basically you don't want to have it all like clumpy and everything so I do this like I said before pieces it's very easy this is very easy to do just do it in layers if well you actually know I'll just put in the description box down below but the lighting did change it's just that the sun's going down it's pretty getting later here California can be can get darker earlier so it's a little different There you can actually see there's some waves there. So basically you just keep doing what I told you. If you if you remember my Christmas Day haul, the one curling iron slash straightening iron, I'll be using that in my next video. So After a while, just it takes a lot of practice. I didn't understand it at first, but after watching a couple times, you have to what my best technique is you, you pull the hair back and you pull it front whenever you twist. See, like that. And you get something crimpy. We are going to go to the front, pull it in the front if you want, basically what I like to do. Make it all separate so there's no confusion. Oh, and one other thing. Make sure you're fine too.
creepy here still. It's pretty easy after a while, but it's going to do it one more time near the scalp. touch-ups if you want, so. There you go, so. There you go, so. Anyway, as always, mwah! I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Have a good weekend.